Good day everyone, I am Jason van Heerden and I am the Registered Dietitian at Irene Village Care. And today I want to talk about a certain topic that is hot on everyone's lips and that is New Year's resolutions. But why does it say New Year's resolutions? Specifically because, you know, at the beginning of the year we've got a lot of motivation. You think this year is going to be different. Um, I'm going to try the same things basically as I did the previous years. Maybe, maybe you've got a newfound, you know, motivation or inspiration and you now decide you're going to do um, several things and that's where I generally find the problem is is that we genuinely try and say uh, you know examples I'm going to eat better I'm going to cut out this I'm going to increase this I'm going to drink more you know water I'm going to sleep better I'm going to meditate I'm going to go gym I'm going to run you know there's a whole bunch of things that we want to do and we genuinely try and do them all at once and the problem with that is that at the beginning we are very motivated we're like no I'm going to stick through I'm going to push through it but then as soon as one of the wheels comes off of the one, the whole bandwagon basically falls apart. And then after about three weeks or a month, then we say, listen, it's not actually working out. And we actually go back to the way that we were going the year before. So one step that I have and what I've seen also with my dietetics practice is to make sure that we maybe set one or two core goals for now and then later we address. Because the thing is, if you try and change everything about your environment, it's gonna be very difficult to stick to it or to your routine. So that is why I'd suggest choose one thing. And I like to use an example I use on myself, is actually going to the gym in the morning. I used to go to the gym in the afternoon and I realized that sometimes, you know, I would say, oh, you know, it's been a long day or, you know, maybe the gym's full or, oh, you know, the traffic. There's always some excuse at the end of the day when your willpower is quite low. So I thought to myself, listen, I love gymming. I feel so good about it. I need it for my health. But then I decided the one thing I'm going to change is to go to the gym in the morning. Don't put your phone next to your bed. Have the snooze or your alarm outside your room. So I then went out, put off my alarm, had my cup of coffee, had a nice breakfast. Then I was on the way to my gym in about 20 minutes. The gym was nice and empty. I felt refreshed and revigorated for the rest of the day. Had a wonderful shower at the gym. And then it was done. Then there was no excuse in the afternoon for me to say, oh, but what if this comes up? Or what if there's a friend that suddenly wants to see you? then all of those things don't matter because you've already done your goal. So that is just an example. And I've decided, you know what, with my nutrition, with you know sleep and other factors in my life that I maybe want to improve, I'm gonna do wait on that a little bit, make sure that I get this gym routine going. And I've seen some with myself that maybe there's one or two things that I wasn't doing right. For example, setting out my clothes. So if my wife was in sleeping, still I would kind of tiptoe and get my clothes out. But now packing the clothes the night before, you get better and better at it, um, at what you're doing. So you get those obstacles or you overcome those obstacles as they come along. It is actually just much better for sustainability. You get used to it, it becomes part of your life. Remember, there's a general rule of once you've done something 21 times or over 21 days, then it actually becomes a habit. So your sleeping cycles adjust, you're more motivated, you keep on going. And then once that is part of my standard routine, then I think I will then add something else to it. And that is my plan with regards to my New Year's resolutions actually going on into the whole of 2020. So I want to ask you, what is your New Year's resolution? That one thing or two things that you say, I'm going to actively put in effort. I'm going to challenge through this. I'm going to push through with that. And then after that is done, then you can start something else. So what are those one or two things that you're planning to do? Leave it down in the comment section below. Maybe keep it to yourself, write it on a piece of paper, put it you know, on the back of your phone, put it on the fridge or keep it somewhere personal for yourself. And then let's see what happens in a few months time. All right, guys, have a wonderful day. Jason Yedinia signing out. Bye.